Welcome back. Today in Google Forms, I'm going to show you how to add different kinds of responses. The most common entry level kind of response that we have, kind of question that we have in a Google Form, is this multiple choice question. This lets us take something really obvious that we don't have to go back as teachers and grade and put it in as multiple choice and get the computer to grade it for us. This is a great use of a Google Form either as a replacement for a worksheet or an anticipation guide or an exit ticket or any of those great things. That is not the only thing you can do with a Google Form. So I'm going to show you another feature besides all these great multiple choice questions that allows us to get some different kinds of input from our students and gets them to think at a little higher level than straight multiple choice or matching or even linear scale kinds of questions that we know how to do and can access. So this is a form I'm using with a Walsworth ebook with my journalism class about photography. That's the chapter we're in. And one of the things I wanted them to do was think about how they're using their phones, because that's the whole purpose here. Everybody doesn't have a DSLR. I have two in my program. I can't check them out to every student throughout the course of the semester and get them to go use it. They do have a phone and I want them to think about how they're using that phone. So I'm asking them for the best photo related app that they have on their phone. So I'll get that short answer text. I also added this. And that's over here in our options and it's the file upload option. This is one of the things that you can do to get some more unique content. And instead of the student just clicking through the boxes and saying, yeah, okay, the answer is B on everything, they have to actually think and cull through their own experience and put in something that they created. For this one, I selected an image. I want them to attach an original photo that they're proud of because that goes with the assignment. Other situations, you might have them insert a drawing. In another form that I used in another video today even, I had them attach a presentation that they did. They could attach a video that they found that exemplified something. They could put in an audio clip. They can put in a spreadsheet or a doc or any of these file types. You can change how many files they can add Maybe you want them to add five photo photographs and they do that right here. I only wanted one for this just to get them used to the idea. You can change the maximum file size. Beware, that's gonna change how it looks for you and how much space it takes up. And, and it's gonna do all the things that we wanted it to do, okay? When it does this, it's going to create a folder in your Google Drive with this assignment for these add-ons that students are going to send you so that all of those things are there in your Google Drive so that you as the teacher can access them. Okay, so here's how to create that. Here's over in responses what it is I want to see. I'm going to go to question and I'm going to get to that question and here is the link to the responses that I got from these students. Now they're gibberish file names because that happens, but I can click on each of these and see if the student really did take that picture. They send me some meme that they photoshopped from somewhere else or a photograph that I recognize or that's got a watermark or something on it, then I know that's not theirs. And I can add feedback and say, is this really your picture? I can also look at them and say, wow, you really use the rule of thirds here. This is some great framing or I really like this or, hey, I've got a dog that looks like that too, or whatever response I want to say so that they get that feedback from within the form. It doesn't have to be another email. It doesn't have to be another slide deck. It doesn't have to be another anything. It's right here, built in and connected to this form, all because we use this file upload possibility over here in the kinds of questions that we wanted to select. It's not just multiple choice. It's not essay questions. It's not a scale or a grid or the date or the time. It's file upload, and that will allow my students to upload whatever kind of file I designate that they can upload. So I hope that helps. Hope you have some ideas for ways that you can use that in your next form.